Welcome back guys, so in this video and in this episode we are going to move towards a more complex scenario where we will be creating a server along with a web page that's more of like a blog and we will look at how to deal with a database like app interaction or a database like environment. Now um, I'm actually mentioning about this database like interaction because the reason is that we are not exactly going to look at how databases are integrated with Node's applications, but we will obviously look at how they are um, integrated at a later episode. But in this section or in this segment, we are going to look at uh, more of like what's what I call a database replica. So how will that help us? Now databases are used to store like user credentials if you are a facebook user you will see that when you sign up obviously you'll, you would have to sign up uh, sign up to create an account on the server so if you sign up for facebook you will have to give your first name your last name your date of birth um, maybe also uh, i don't i don't actually remember it was a long time ago so you will have to give a lot of personal details now if you sign up for an e-commerce website you might even have to give sensitive data like credit card details so which are pretty much uh, sensitive in their context now these databases help us to create a library where we can uh, keep all our data in a neat stack we can organize our data as we want and as it is helpful for us if we go for sorting if we go for retrieving data now the fact is that um all of this that you see you see it's it's a it's a very web page for a visitor or for a user but behind the scenes a lot of things are good a lot of things are going on actually so um if you look at this entire um, web page i've got only one single heading which is pretty much nothing actually uh with with not with not much styling actually and i've also got a list of um, headlines or titles now blogs usually have if you have been to a blog or if you have visited a blog um, then you would see that they have got sections where they post their articles or their blog posts their blog posts are basically the blog posts basically have the title along with the writer's name or maybe the writer's image or the picture uh, profile picture i mean or um and the t along with the picture and the title they also have got a teaser uh, text a teaser text is essentially a small chunk of text which is there to actually um, you know attract the reader so when the reader first sees the teaser text of a certain article then he reads the teaser text now the teaser text is maybe it might be 10 words or maybe five words it may it mainly describes or summarizes the most attractive parts of a blog post so when the reader reads it, he, he might get interested in by looking at the teaser text. So it's actually drawing him towards reading the whole article. Now I'm not going to show you how all this teaser text can be organized, but I'm, I'm actually going to show you how to pull up data from a database-like environment. Uh, I'm going to pull up all this data. A bunch of uh, list elements, a uh, bunch of uh, titles that you see. I'm going to pull that from a database like environment. Then I'm going to use the HTML page. I will create an HTML page and, go, and I'm going to use that HTML page through my server, which is the, which will be the brain of this entire application. I will use that HTML page to show all those data, all these uh, titles. That I'll be pulling from the database like replica. Now this sounds pretty simple. Uh, this is actually quite simple. You might not get the hang of it at the first moment, but it's actually pretty simple. It's not that uh, you know, it's not rocket science. But uh, we we need to keep keep track of our files of what we are doing. And the first step that we will be taking is to create a JSON file. Now, if you're not familiar with a JSON file, a JSON file is essentially something that's known as a JavaScript object, object notation file. I'm, I'm going to discuss about that uh, shortly. Now, 
as I was talking about the blog, let me give you one example of a blog. So, this is a website that's called a list apart, a list apart dot com slash blog. So, if you go to their blog, you'll see that they've got um, they've got a title and they've got a teaser text. Now, this essentially happens to be a teaser text. So, if you if you scroll down, you'll see many other blog posts. So what they are doing is they are providing you with the uh, article or, or they are providing you with the blog post uh, heading or the title then they are also mentioning the writer's name and below that you see a teaser text. Now if I read this the title says that object oriented UX or user experience written by Sofia Voynich Voyshevsky, uh, that's a hard spelling, uh, whatever it is. So they're telling me patterns and modules help us design for mobile, but they're not enough. Enter object mapping, a method for modeling information. So this is essentially a teaser text, which is basically trying to attract reader towards this uh, blog post so that reader can get attracted and he will click on this. Um, title and then he, he can read the entire blog post so what i'm going to do so this is basically the um, format for uh for a blog i'm not going to pull all this information because i will be doing that when i go for you know when i go for using a real database if you're wondering what a real database may look like you can actually use any database the most of the uh the most familiar ones like MySQL, then MongoDB, then I guess there is Redis. You can use any one of them. They do differ in certain aspects, but yeah, you can you can go for it. So I will be discussing about databases, especially MongoDB, when I get to a later episodes. But let's focus on our main objective today. Our main objective today will be to create an uh, to create a JSON file which will be the actual